Hello, guys. <clears throat> I hope y'all are doing well. Let me turn the light up here. Give you a little bit more light on the subject. We are going to make this gorgeous card using the <clears throat> Earthen Elegance Suite. It is so gorgeous. Um, we have so many textures here, and honestly, when I first saw it, I just kind of, it looked too hard. It looked like there was too much work involved. But what I realized when I really started working with it is the paper and the dies and the stamps really do all the hard work. And you can really do a lot of shortcuts to make gorgeous cards. So we are going to make this more simple card. And then I'll show you the more stepped up card that we're going to make at card class next week. And you can sign up for that right here in the information on this video. It's live and online. So if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube or if you live in Little Rock, you can come and join me for card class next week. I'm so excited that this stamp set, the dies, <clears throat> and this trim is now currently available. For a long time, it wasn't. So it, it came in the catalog and then it went so quickly. But now at this point today, it's all available. So you definitely wanna snatch it up while you can. All right, now I'm going to make some tweaks to this card and I'll show you. I just, whenever I make a card, I almost always tweak it a little bit the second time. So the first thing we're using here is some crumb cake for our card base. And then I'm using this pretty peacock as this is part of the designer series paper. Isn't that cool? Um, so we're gonna pop this on and I just have a hint of that crumb cake showing. That's just, I was just feeling a little bit different today and I wanted, hi Barb. Um, so I love that little layer. And then I'm gonna do my stamping directly on this piece of crumb cake. Now, I wanted a little bit more contrast with this pot and these fronds. So I'm switching up my colors a little. And for the large pot using this stamp, I'm going to use the early espresso. See how that goes. I'm going to shift it over a bit too. Hello, Barb. It's always so good to see you. I like that. All right, now we're going to use this pretty peacock for our smaller pot. Love that. And then I'm going to come in and do my bronze pecan pie. Now, in case you're wondering, this was pecan pie, pretty peacock, wild wheat. And I wanted to change it to espresso peacock and copper clay. I'm sorry, pecan pie. Maybe that's the deal. Maybe I want it to be pecan. Maybe I want it to be copper clay. Let me get copper clay. Let me see. I think that would be pretty if I can find it. Oh, I did. Bonus. All right, so we're going to use copper clay here. Now, you can see I just want the top part of this wheat, not the whole stems. Oh, you're so sweet, Barb. I'm so happy that you watch live. It's always fun to know someone's watching me live. So you're just going to ink up up until about there, okay? And then you're just going to have to eyeball where that is. And it, it, it works, believe it or not. Like I was skeptical and then I was like, oh, that actually worked. And I do love this coloring much better. I don't know. It just makes me happy. All right. Now, when I stuck this piece down, I was like, eh, it feels like it needs a little bit more something. So I'm going to do something I haven't done in so long. And we're going to use our sponge dauber to really texture up this edge. 
And I'm gonna do it a little bit more than I did on my example because I was in a huge hurry. I changed my mind at the last minute. And so I didn't have time to really give it the love it needed. So you're just using your sponge dauber and a little bit of ink and just and I think that looks so cool with this earthy, textury look. Um, it's been probably years since I've done that, but it was so fun. I think you'll agree. All right, now I also want to do my sentiment. I always end up going neutral on my sentiment, even when I try to go outside my normal and do it not, um, not, neutral. I often end up neutraling it, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try early espresso for my sentiment. I just like my sentiments to be bold. I'm saying thank you, and I want to say it loud. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love that. <clears throat> what do you prefer? Do you like the pretty peacock sentiment or the espresso sentiment? I'm just curious. The edge darker almost always looks better. You're right, Barb. It it really just gives it that special, I don't know, special something. All right, I see someone else watching. Hello, Taryn. Nice to see you as well. All right, so we're just going to take a little, this is just a three-quarter strip, three-quarter inch strip. And I did also go ahead and darken the edge of that just so it doesn't stand out tremendously and we oh I forgot something we're gonna do with this little guy we're gonna put some some adhesive on it and we are gonna come in with our this is called wavy trim and we're going to put it on the bottom edge here so we're gonna get it just as barely there as we can so that it pops out there on the edge and it's hard to see on the video but there's a knot in it so I'm trying to cut it past that knot just so it won't fray much if that makes any sense and then we're going to use our dimensionals to pop that up and we're going to stick that right there and I think I'm going to stick this directly down with stamp and seal. Okay. Now that is gorgeousness. Super pretty. Now what we're going to do is take these uh, sequins. They have all the best colors. Copper, gold, uh, silver, and a lighter copper. And to be honest, the name of them escapes me right now, and the package is on the other table, so I think I can find them in the book quicker than I can find them on my table, which is a wreck. Here it is. They're called Neutral Adhesive Back Sequins 161627. So make sure and pick some of those up. All right, and we're going to use these coppery ones. Put one here. We're just going to make a triangle with our uh, embellishments. That's a good artistic tip. And that is our embellishment that we're using on this card. So you decide if you like the lighter color or the darker color stamping. I like the darker color. And um, I would love to see what you do with this set of stamps. Um, so the stamps themselves are fabulous. You can make so many cards. There's sentiments galore, and I love these cute little way that they have this font with the little A and the O underlined. I just think that makes it look so different. Um, simple stamping works great, and then um, I love this UR proof there is good in the world, and I'll show you what we're going to do at card class next week. So you want to come back at the same time next week for card class or come and join my live card class. We're going to make this card. So we're going to step it up a notch with our dies and our uh, earthen textures stamp set. 
we're going to use our cute little truck set that's an online exclusive and it will be available by the 17th the punch is currently available and we're going to make this cute little card um so make sure and come back next week for card class so you can see that stepped up card using earthen textures um, you want to go ahead and get that whole suite when you order earthen textures because you're going to want all of the things so the suite is only $74, $161,518, and that will get you um, that wavy trim, the designer paper, and the stamps. Oh, I forgot to show you the designer paper. Oh, my goodness. We have so many gorgeous things. Now, this is the strip that I used to make these pots. Okay, so that's how I cut those pots with the dies. And then you've got... I'm sorry, I keep sniffing. I've got a little summer cold. Then you've got lots and lots of textury um, things here. I can imagine that the person that made this paper had the most fun making uh, pottery textures and then probably just taking a photo of it is honestly how I bet they did that. And then here are the back sides. So we're bringing in the blues and pulling out some of these other patterns. I didn't even see this piece. Oh, I like. So, the sky's the limit with earth and textures. I hope you get the whole suite and that you sign up for car class next week. If you're watching online and you sign up, um, even if you don't participate, um, if you put in an order for the class and subscribe to my email, then you will get the PDFs and the, uh, the card kits for free. That's for next week. So make sure to come back there and we'll see you then. All right. Bye.